Welcome to today's discussion on real-time non-revenue water, a BC Blue Solution. I'm Michael Carl, joined today by Dennis Molichek, BC's Integration Solution Lead, and Jacob Young, our Digital Water Lead. Jacob's going to provide an overview of this innovation, and Dennis will show the tool installed in real time. Jacob, do you want to go ahead and take it away? Yeah. So it's important to start with the understanding that non-revenue water is water that a utility is paying to treat and pump throughout their storage and distribution system, but that they're not getting paid for. And several components of non-revenue water represent water waste that can lead to supply capacity uh, improvement projects being needed earlier than necessary. And lastly, you know, high non-revenue water can be an indicator of a leaky system and leaks often grow into pipe breaks. The exciting thing is that technological advancements are facilitating enhanced levels of non-revenue water monitoring. So traditionally, uh, the data used to monitor non-revenue water is coming from segregated sources throughout an organization. It also includes manual meter readings at the end user. And these manual meter reads were done on a monthly basis. And so it was common that non-revenue water monitoring wasn't being done any more frequent than annually, uh, if at all. And that long period between uh, understanding your, the non-revenue water in a system uh, represented uh, unnecessary water loss uh, throughout that duration. But with the propagation of advanced meter infrastructure, AMI, throughout the water industry, many utilities now have metered consumption available in real time. And if we integrate that real-time data with the other real-time data sources throughout the delivery cycle, uh, we can monitor non-revenue water in real time. And this allows us to identify and respond to those changes in non-revenue water as they happen. At that point, our list of challenges with non-revenue water really become opportunities. So we can eliminate those unnecessary operating costs and capture that lost revenue. Uh, we can also identify those leaks and address them before they become breaks and also reduce the water loss and waste throughout the system to defer those supply projects as long as possible. And we recently implemented this solution at Jordan Valley Water Conservancy District. And Mike, do you want to tell us a little bit about that project? Absolutely. Jordan Valley is a water provider for over half the Salt Lake uh, County in Utah, serving over 700,000 residents. And this was a fun project to address the utilities needs and project drivers. Uh, Jordan Valley really has a mission of demonstrating environmental stewardship and um, leading the way to consume less water. So the project goals that we had was to develop a simple tool that was easy for everyone to use at the district and reduce operating costs. And Dennis was our chief uh, integration solution lead. So Dennis, do you wanna talk about implementing that tool? Sure. Thanks, Mike. Uh, a little bit before we get into the tool, um, I'd like to talk a little bit about how we put the tool together. Um, so one of the challenges that we had are aligning the data between the systems. We have SCADA data, we have AMI data, and they, they're read at different rates. They come into the system at different rates. Uh, SCADA data is typically second, sub-second, minute, uh, the AMI data comes in hourly, but it's batched. Uh, so we had to come up with a way to align that data. Uh, in addition to that, uh, Jordan Valley wanted to be able to segment the uh, non-revenue water into subsystems, which would allow them to more easily identify uh, areas of concern, things that need to be looked at. And once we were able to do that, then we developed our analytics and dashboards, uh, which we will look at now. So what we're seeing here is the overall system non-revenue water. Uh, we've got our water coming in, our water going out, and we're able to get a, uh, in this case, a monthly non-revenue water. Uh, allows us to look back over uh, 12 months and to see how that has changed. We do have a, an overall average. Um, 
The nice thing about this uh, report is it allows you to go in and select any month uh, and the information updates based on that. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, they wanted to look at the non-revenue water by subsystem, and this page represents that. We have our overall system non-revenue water. This is a 90-day look back, um, and then our subsystems. And the nice thing here is we have our, our uh, gauge dials. The gauge is the yesterday's non-revenue water, and the tick mark on it is the average of over 90 days, so they're able to see uh, any anomalies immediately. Uh, Jacob? Why don't you tell us a little bit about how Jordan Valley is using this? Yeah, you bet, Dennis. So the district can now track their non-revenue water on a daily basis. And if we take a look at the Southwest system on the screen here, and in the graph at the top of the screen in particular, uh, we can see that uh, back at the uh, beginning of the time range that that's shown in April, there, the Southwest system had a relatively normal uh, non-revenue water, uh, typical for uh, for a system. But we hit that period of instability uh, in mid-April, and coming out of that period, there was a excessively high non-revenue water uh, for that, for the Southwest subsystem. Now, with this visibility into their system and, and non-revenue water, the district staff was able to pinpoint that period and look at what operational changes happened there identify that when some new tanks came online uh, for seasonal changes, that they uh, uh, then had that jump in their non-revenue water. And they're now uh, going through and addressing uh, the, those issues to uh, better manage non-revenue water in the Southwest system. So Mike, do you wanna go ahead and sum things up? Absolutely. I think Giselle uh, Terry said it best. She's assistant general manager for operations and maintenance at the district. She said, this tool will decrease the redundancy of data, reduce the time to manually compile that and analyze data and improve the process of reporting overall. In summary, non-revenue water is a major challenge for utilities. And this tool is helping transition from reactive to proactive management of non-revenue water leading to significant cost reductions. Please reach out to our team if you'd like any additional information or would like to discuss this tool overall. We thank you for joining today. and look forward to talking soon.